What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the page. How you guys doing? Me? I'm fine. I'm good. I'm blessed. Happy to see another day. A little hot though. Don't got the AC on. I don't even have the AC installed in this room yet. So kind of got to thug it out. Hopefully I get a nice wind. The windows are open. Mesh is up. So I don't got to worry about no flies and mosquitoes. But I'm here. As you can see behind me, we got these beautiful Nike SBs and this is my Nike SB collection video. To be honest with you guys, I didn't even think I had this much Nike SBs because how they were in my collection, they weren't all together, they are kind of scattered about. So I was counting them down the other day, I was like, oh, I got a good amount, let me just do a collection video, why not? I didn't have anything else really to put out this week, so why not give you guys that? Um, I don't want to ramble on in the intro for too long because this video might be a little bit longer than my other videos because I'm going through a couple of shoes right here. So without further ado, uh, let's get started. So yeah, give me one minute, I'm gonna grab the first shoe and yeah, we'll start this up. Okay, all right. So I know this isn't a Nike SB box. It's a little cheat shoe because you could kind of call it an SB, you could kind of call it a Jordan 1, but I had to include it. And here we go, it's the Nike SB slash Air Jordan, LA to Chicago's. So these, like I said, they're not really an SB, but they have the SB right here on the tongue as you can see right there. They come in the Jordan 1 box. The insole does have the Nike SB and it does have that air zoom unit under the insole. So yeah, it's kind of like a cheat shoe. So, like I said, I always forget about this one. That's why it wasn't displayed in the thumbnail. Because, like I said, it comes in the Jordan 1 box. And I always forget about it that it's really an SB. But, um, as you can see with mine, I rubbed away the purple. And I left some gold on it. But, this is one of the shoes that I got for retail. One of my few, very few sneakers apps, W's. Happy I got this one. Really good shoe. Need to wear it a little bit more, but I like how it came out. And for the people that asked how I got this, um, how I got the purple off so clean, acetone was my best friend. I used a lot of acetone, a lot of rubbing. Just be careful because there's some still some smudges of purple along mine on the sail color part and some on the midsole, but it's not that big of a deal. But yeah, this is definitely one of my favorite SBs um, in the collection, honestly. So... Here you go, like I said, Nike SB slash Jordan 1, LA to Chicago is one of my very few sneaker app W's and something I'm happy to have in the collection. If I didn't get the shoe off the sneakers app, I'm pretty sure I wasn't gonna get it because I wasn't gonna pay a resale for this because I like it, but I don't really love it like that, but it's a good shoe nonetheless and happy to have it. So I would say an honorable mention before we get into everything else. So I'm gonna put these bad boys back and then we're gonna actually grab another Nike SB that's in one of these boxes right here and get back to you. Give me one minute. This shoe, I don't even know what this is. As you can see, all the boxes are backwards. So, pull this open. Oh, all right. So you guys probably recognize this one. I just mentioned it in one of the reviews I did. Well, it wasn't a review as a whole, but Nike SB Night of Mission. So this one is pretty clean. I really like this one. I know a lot of people really love it but they weren't so high on paying resale for it because it's like a theme shoe <clears throat> i don't mind i don't mind a theme shoe because i don't only wear i'm not only gonna wear these on halloween i'm gonna definitely wear them year round i feel like this is like a newer version of the day of the dead nike sds and there's no way i could get that so that's why i had to put the effort to get these because i really like how they pulled it together the hollow the little jack o lantern on the toe box right there you got the spider webs right here by the swoosh, the spider, the candy corn on the eyelets, the insole right here. I don't think if I, I don't think I pulled the insole out the last time I showed you guys this. So here you go. Insole right here, pretty clean, pretty good. Oh, there we go. Got a good focus. Got the Nike SB. Let me see if it focus. Dripping right there. So yeah, this is another one. Glad I got, even though I didn't get these for retail. Paid some resale on it, but it wasn't that bad. Um, Cause as you guys know, SB prices are like super high right now. And it's like, if you don't get them for retail, people just won't bother and get them. But this one is a good one. I really love how it all came together. The 
bright outsole. Pretty cool. Got the trick or treat on the back tabs right here. And like I said, this is just a, this is just like an upgraded Day of the Dead. Like you can't go wrong with this, especially if you like the Day of the Dead. I'm pretty sure you'll like these. The Day of the Dead had a bit more, like you know, features on it, of course. But these are a nice option. Like I said, even though some people say they're a themed shoe, I'm definitely gonna be wearing these for more than just Halloween. Really happy with it. I love how the colors pop. I like how everything really played out. I wish I could have got it for retail, but at the end of the day, still happy to have it. One of the standouts in my Nike SB collection, I'll say that, but really clean shoe. So now that you guys see these, put this one to the side, get to the next one. All right, pink box, one of the grail errors. I say that because I hate when people say the grail era SB, the pink box, because I feel like no matter what box, SB always comes out with some bangers for that box color. So I don't really call any era the grill era, like the pink box era, the silver box. It's just a dope shoe. I'll call it a shoe a grill. But enough of that, because I'm sweating already. Throw this back. And what do we have? Oh. All right. These guys right here, the black pigeon. So I might get some people upset with this, but to be honest with you, I'm not a fan of the original pigeon. I'm sorry, I know, I know, I'm sorry. Like, I get it and what, it's, what it means, the importance of it. I, I love the story behind it, but as far as the colorway, it's like, eh, it's just kind of basic. And you could say the same thing about this one. It is pretty basic, but I like how this one came together, came together a bit more, to be honest with you. You got the black and you got the sienna red, and you got that nice pigeon imprint right there at the back heel. And another thing I really like about this, how they blacked out the Nike SB and just have the red swoosh. Really clean with this one. Um, like I said, I know I might get some slack on it because I'm not a fan of the original pigeon. Don't get me wrong, if I had the opportunity to get it for a retail price back in the day, I would have purchased it. But the numbers that it's doing now and the hype around Nike SB is crazy. But this one has to be by far my favorite pigeon. Um, and that's just me, personally. The Panda Pigeons. I'm not, I'm not crazy about those. The pro pigeons are okay, but this one right here is really great. I feel like that because it's more wearable. I wear a lot of black and I wear a lot of red. So it just blends in with my colors really well. So I was just like, you know what? When this came out, I had to get it. I didn't get it when it released because I believe these came out in 2017. Around 2017. Um, I, don't think I, I don't think I've made it my first SV purchase back since because if you guys remember from my sneaker stories, I told you how I had to sell my shoes. So I sold shoes back in the day when I had no money, I was broke. And when these came back out, I didn't get a chance to get them right away. So I got them later on, but I ain't mad at it. Really good shoe, really clean shoe, really easy to wear. And here we go, pink box, Nike SB, black pigeons. On to the next. All right, split box. So which ones do we have here? Throw this back. Ah, dog walkers. Oh man, I touched on these recently in my pickup vlog when I showed you guys the Night of Mischiefs, but I'm happy to have these. I didn't get a chance to get them when they first came out. Um, I passed on them. My fault, I don't even know what I was thinking back then. Like, probably I had some bills to pay and I was just like, nah, they I, I don't really want them. When, I really did want them, but I just, I couldn't afford them at the time because I had a lot of bills going on at the time. So I was just like, you know, I'll pass on them. But these, I'm really happy I got. Actually, how I got these when Corona first started and everybody was pretty much at home and nobody's really working. This was like around towards the end of March. Sneakers did a restock. My boy hit on my size. And then, you know, he blessed me. So happy about this one. Really cool. Love the, love the materials that they used on this. Me personally, got to rock with the white laces. I don't think I showed this to you guys in the pickup of the doggy bag, the Nike SB with the brown laces. I just love the creativity with this shoe, man. Like, that's the thing about Nike SB. Say what you want. The creativity is always there. Whenever they put their mind to it, they knock it out the park with their creativity. It's like, it gets no better. And here you go again with the insole, because I don't believe I showed the insole in the pickup video. There you guys go. Dogs on the insole. A whole bunch of different dogs. And yeah, really clean, really cool. I haven't even worn these yet. I just tried them on around the crib. Um, pretty much still DS, but when the opportunity comes and 
outside is open, like, you know, after all these phases and everything. Definitely going to give a chance to put these on, wear them out, see what's up with it. Um, I've just been wearing, like, casual shoes, whatever's by the door lately, because I haven't really been going anywhere besides supermarket runs or whatever. But these guys, definitely got to put these on the ground real soon. Um, yeah, stash pocket, poop back here with the Nike SB. One of the low-key great 420 releases. I know it doesn't compare like to the Skunk and like I think there's the White Widow and the Cheech and Chong's, but definitely a really good 420 release. And if you got a chance to, if you had a chance to get them, I'm pretty sure you're happy with the purchase. But yeah, Dog Walkers, Nike SBs, third one. And to be honest with you, these aren't in any rank. I just have them laid out like that. They're not ranked in any way. I do have one favorite high and one favorite low in this collection, but everything else is just SBs that I like. That's just how it is. Like, I just wanted to clear the air. They're not ranked. But on to the next shoe. Pink box again. Let's see what's got here. Ah, might be blasted with the light, but as you guys can see right here, the white diamond Ike SB. So, Another hot take right here. I'm not a fan of the original Tiffany's. I know, I know, I know. I'm just different with it. The Tiffany's are cool. I get it. Love the history behind it. But me, I'm not too crazy about the shoe. Uh, it's just a cool shoe. Like, I just, I just not fan them like that. Like, it's just the colors. I don't know. It's just something about the Tiffany's. I never really fell in love with it like everybody else that's in love with that shoe but still a good shoe so when they redid the tiffany's and they had the black one the yellow one and the canary yellow i believe this one i believe these came out around 2018 so i really wanted the canary yellow but of course those are super limited i couldn't get those the black ones are super plain to me so i was just like oh these are dope and i really like how they did the whole theme with the removable swoosh so I was just like, I like how they did this one. So it's pretty good. I know a lot of people aren't too crazy about this one in particular because of the translucent outsole. But at the end of the day, this way their shoes are meant to be worn. They go to yellow. This one, to be honest, I don't even think I wore them since I got them. I was waiting until like summertime because I got them pretty much last year, like around fall, winter. So I was like summertime when we wear them. But when this is all said and done, these will definitely be worn. I done told myself after this whole quarantine thing is done, I won't have any more shoes in my collections that's DS. Everything is getting on DS, especially these. So you'll definitely be seeing all of these shoes touch the pavement, whichever ones that are DS at least. This is definitely one of them. Um, I'm really happy with this purchase. And yeah, I'm just a fan of these. So I saw one and cop them. Got the diamond on the eyelets right here, as you can see. And they also came with Focus, yeah. Diamond on the eyelid. Came with spare laces, but I don't want to overkill it with the Tiffany blue. I think the white laces just, they do just fine. So, white diamond dunks. Really happy I got them. And we're about to move on to the next shoe. Black and purple box. Pull this back. And of course, we got the puffing stuffs. So, this shoe right here, I made a video on it. I think I got these shoes right before quarantine got really crazy. I got them off a of goat for a steal. So this shoe came out back in 06. And one of my biggest fears is just like buying older Nike SBs because you don't know how they're going to last, how they're going to end up. But this one, I really, I always liked this shoe back in the day. Like I used to see it on like pickyourshoes.com and everything else. And I was just like, I love how the colors complemented each other. Cause I was just like, damn, I really wish I could get it. But the prices for like a new one was super high. But I got these used on Go, and they look brand new. It's like the guy barely even wore them. You can see from the outsole, I didn't even clean these. This is how it came. So I was really happy with this purchase. And even it came with the spare laces. I still got the spare green laces. Outs, the insole still has the zoom air on the inside. It's like he barely even wore these. So, really happy with this one. One of like the girls for me, because back in those days, like I really wanted this shoe, I was never able to get it, and I had the opportunity to get it now. And there's a few girl SBs that I would love to get, but I know there's no way I could ever get my hands on, like the Uncle Dunks, like those are just beautiful. Those and the Heinekens, but 
those are out of my reach at this point. So the ones that I can attain, I call them grows. So really cool. Got the, got the suede pattern, coarse. Got your blue swoosh, this yellow gold, this red. Really beautiful shoe, really happy to have it. And especially for the price I got this shoe for, like it's really amazing. So I tried them on. You're gonna see me in the OFB with them right now. I wear them around the house every now and then since the quarantine, cause I don't want it to kind of crumble or fall apart. Cause when outside I open back up, I'm gonna be wearing these. And every time I wear these, I'm gonna make sure I have like a spare kick in my tote bag, just in case, you know, cause I don't want no accidents but I want my money's worth, so I will be wearing them. I'm not just gonna have them here sitting on ice collecting dust. Definitely gonna get my money's worth. But that's this shoe right here, the puff and stuff, Nike SB. Moving on to the next one. Rainbow box. You guys already know what this shoe is. I'm gonna have to go into full detail, pull this back. Of course, the Nike SB Chunky Donkeys. Um, I just did a review on this one, so I'm not even gonna talk too long on this one. Um, definitely one of the best Nike SB pickups of the year so far. Um, definitely, as far as all the Nike SBs that came out this year, this is my favorite, hands down, because the creativity and everything, it just knocks it out the park. Is The only other shoe that I would say is pretty good, but I just don't like it personally, is the Strange Loves, as far as like detail-wise. But this one is beautiful. Like I think I'm pretty much done on buying Nike SBs for the rest of the year, unless it's like, a new colorway or I got an opportunity to pick up something that I had back in the day that I sold and I would like to rebuy but outside of that when it comes to Nike SBs this one got it oh no nah, no nah. hold up the orange bears the orange bears clean that's the best bear colorway I don't care I'm saying the best bear colorway the yellow one is cool but the orange with that green hint at the bottom <sighs> orange bears are fire but I'm gonna try my luck on those. But as you can see right here, Nike SB, Chunky Dunky. Really happy I got these. Um, I know a lot of people are on the fence. Some of them are just like, oh, they, they don't look good. I know people that love it, and I know people that hate it. Me, I love it. And like I tell you guys, buy what you love, buy what you like. So here we go right here. Nike SB, Chunky Dunky. Not gonna spend too much time on this one. Like I said, already got my review for it. And yeah, we're about to move on to the next one. So, how you guys feeling so far? Hope y'all look good. I'm really sweating right now. Um, my forehead low-key glistening. I gotta keep wiping off sweat in between sessions, but we almost done. We almost done. Just bear with me. All right, so this one, as you can see right here, Concepts box, uh, the ice on it. Take that off. Got right here, SB box, pull this back. I put a gold sticker still in here still. Oh man, the purple lobsters. So I'm gonna be straight up with you guys when it comes to the purple lobsters. I like them, I don't love them. I like the purple lobsters. Like, out of all the lobsters, this is probably my least favorite one. But the reason I picked up the purple lobster is because I got it for I saw it for a good price on GOAT, to be honest with you, especially in the special box. And I felt like if I don't buy it now, I'm gonna regret it because I have the other lobsters and I was just like, I just gotta have those two because I don't have the red or the blue. So I might as well just get these two since I have the opportunity to. And I'm happy I did that because prices just skyrocketed. And yeah, here they are. But I went with the I had the white laces in them at first, switched them out, put in these salmon laces, but like I said, the purple lobsters are definitely a good one. I didn't, of course, if you saw the ghost sticker, you know I didn't get it off retail. I didn't get it when it came out. I didn't get it from Concepts. I tried, but it didn't really happen that way. So I got them regardless. Um, really clean. And for those who don't know um, how Concepts came to the idea with the purple and the green lobsters, they made, they merged the red and the blue one red and blue combine that color and mix purple and for the green one they merged the yellow and the blue made green so hence why we got the purple lobster i saw dion point if those you guys who know dion point shout out to you guys he have put on his ig story an image of an orange lobster so maybe we get an orange lobster i'm hoping for it if we do i'm on it but we'll see um 
Just stay tuned. On to the next shoe. Split Tiffany box. I got a lot of Split Tiffany boxes, man, but I ain't mad at it. That's what it is. Peel this back. The tie dye ray guns. Let me tell you a story about these. This shoe right here, when I saw images of this, like I think it came out like around November, late November, early December, I was losing my mind because I always wanted the ray guns. The ray guns were like such an amazing shoe to me, like hands down. Like I love how that shoe came together. And this one, I was just like, yo, I can't get the originals because they cost too much. So I gotta sell it for this. So they came out with these and they had the white version. The white version was a skate shop exclusive, I believe, but I didn't really care for that one. I didn't really like it compared to the black version. I think the black version looks so much better. And I'm still happy with the decision I made to just go for the black. Spare laces right here. That tie dye effect just makes the shoe pop so much more. And I love these shoes, man. These are like one of my favorite Nike SBs in the collection. And if you guys probably didn't catch the pattern by now, I have a lot of Nike SB lows. I love Nike SB dunks, but if I had to choose between dunk high and dunk low, I'm going dunk low. The highs are cool. They got some cool Nike SB dunk highs, but in my opinion, they just have some way better lows. So most of my collection is just lows. I got a few highs, nothing too crazy, but this one was definitely one I had to pick up because like I said, I missed out on the opportunity to get the original Ray Guns back in the day. Cause back then, your boy wasn't working. I ain't have no money. And believe it or not, SBs wasn't that easy to get back then anyway, because I know some people say, man, Nike SBs ain't mad hard to get. Back then there was no sneakers app and you really had to go to your skate shops. And that I'm pretty sure that Ray Gun was a quick strike. And when the quick strikes dropped at the skate shops, they were moving, like they were gone. I know a lot of people now will say, hey, I used to buy SVs for discount and that SVs was never this hype. Yeah, you're right. The GR SVs used to buy from discount from like Premier or Nike.com or wherever. Those are just the GRs, but the Quick Strike SVs were always hard to get. Back in the day, there's times I had to get my Quick Strikes from like Flight Club when it was on Green Street. There's another spice to shop at called Kick Exclusive before it moved. I think it went to Miami. And some other places i used to have to go to get my quick strike sbs and the thing about it it wasn't as expensive back then like the most i ever paid for a pair of sbs back in the day was maybe maybe 200. you would get them for like around they retail for 100 90 or whatever the price was 70 something and you get them for like 150 160 and you're just like all right this is what it is but like i said when it came to the nike sb quick strikes back in the day they were so hard to get trust me so that's why it hurts me now that I sold my collection and I would love to get some of those shoes back that I sold. But the price that they asking for them now, even on the used shoe, that was way more than how much I paid for a brand new shoe back in the day. Like I'm not going to pay $180 for a shoe or $160 for a shoe back in the day or retail. I got some of them for retail at Blades. To now come chop and kind of tell me five, six hundred, dollars even $800, i am like, nah, nah, I'm good. I'll wait it out. Until the hype dies down or if I don't get them again, I don't get them. I had them and that's all I could say. Nike SB Ray Gun tie dyes. So we got two more left. So we're gonna get through that. Just have to edit this video and get this out to y'all probably by tomorrow. Cause your boy is sweating, it's still hot. But hold on, we got two more like I said, in one minute. One eternity later. Brown box with the black tape. So, this shoe was a shoe that I had back in the day before I saw my collection, but when I had it, it was a 10 and a half. I needed a size 11, but I still try to make it work because I loved this shoe. So when I have the opportunity to get it back, best believe I got it back. And throw that back. The Nike SB High McRads. Yo, I don't know what it is about this shoe, I just love this shoe. Like, I feel like the co the colors just go with anything that I'm wearing. Like, the green, the yellow, the gray, the red, the black. You got the white at the bottom. And I got these used off GOAT. And the reason I got them was because the seller was asking for like, I think 200. But, teach y'all a little finesse with GOAT real quick. If somebody's selling a shoe on GOAT and like it doesn't have the original insole, and they don't list that, 
when it gets to the authenticators, what they're going to do is they're going to say, hey, we came across a problem. The shoe doesn't have the original insoles, so the seller is going to have to give you a discount. So I got like a 10% discount off the 200 so just so y'all know. I saw from the images it didn't have the Nike SB insole, I saw it had this. So I was just like, damn, 200 and I'll probably get a discount on there? I bought it, and best believe I got the discount. So I got it for a little cheaper, but like I said, I'm not mad at this. Because when I first purchased this shoe back in the day, because this shoe came out in 2013, it's a uh, honor to Chuck Tree to um Chuck Trees, my bad about that, for his he's an African American skateboarder that got like the cover of Thrasher magazine, so it's just like an honor to him. So these shoes came out around 2013 for BHM Black History Month. And I got them for like about 175 to pay like around the same amount for this shoe in a pretty clean condition. Damn near seven years later. Yeah, I'll do that. So definitely happy with this one. One of my favorite Nike SB highs that I had or I have right now in my collection. Like this is my favorite SB high in my collection right now. Like the dog walkers are cool, but these, I'll put these on before the dog walkers any day of the week. But one of my favorites, Nike SB high, McRads. So we're about to get into the last shoe right now. Give me one second. You see, the concepts Nike SB. Right here, the fishing container. You got all the little extra stuff that came with it. This back, right there. Here you know what this shoe is. Peel it back. The Nike SB Green Lobster. Yo, this is my favorite SB in my collection right now. The favorite SB look. Like, I love the Green Lobsters, like hands down. I don't know what it is about this shoe that attracts me to it like this, but it's just a beautiful shoe and the lace options that they give you, you can't you can't go wrong with it. Like you got the pink, you got like a bright purple, I believe. Oh, they all right here. So I'm gonna just show them. Got like this bright purple right here. Outside of bright purple, got like an olive green, and then you also have a black. But I don't know, it's just how the shoe was executed. Cause to be honest, this release date is either in December or early January. I think I tried for the shoe early January cause Contest put it up on their website, struck out and I bought it off StockX for, damn, how much did I pay for these? I got it for pretty low, like maybe around 400. I got it for because like they were super high because they came out earlier, but then the prices dropped after the concepts release. And then how it happened, I purchased them on StockX probably like on a Tuesday or a Wednesday. And I got them on a Friday because I think StockX had a drop off point. So somebody bought them from concepts, dropped them off to StockX and they just shipped them to me because they just verified it right there. I don't know, man. It's just perfectly executed. It's my favorite lobster, favorite lobster SB. Like, if I was to, God forbid, if something's happened to this shoe or I was to lose it, I really feel hurt. Like, it will hurt me because, like, this one holds a lot of weight in my heart. And I'm really happy to have, should we have this in hand? Um, but yeah, man, um, that's pretty much it for the collection. So, drop a comment down below. Let me know which shoe that I have in my collection that you like, which shoe that you feel like, eh, it's not all that. And what are some of your favorite Nike SBs? Um, like I said, these are mine. I had some back in the day that I would love to purchase again, but I'm not spending that money. Um, SB hype right now is like, it was always there, but it's on like another level right now. And I can't, I can't afford it. Any sane person can't afford SBs unless, they, unless they're getting it for retail. If you're not getting SBs for retail, you're buying a resale, I commend you because they're dropping a bag right now. But um yeah let me know guys what's your favorite sbs what's your favorite sb in my collection what's some that you like some you don't like just drop it all down below i'll get back to you guys as soon as possible peace love and positivity as always and i'll definitely see you guys on the next video and i am out